I got the name um, Smearcat. I used to watch a show called Meerkat Manor with an ex-girlfriend um, of mine, and it just sort of came to me um, while I was driving one day, and it seemed like a good idea at the time. I had a few different names that I came up with, and they were no good, so um, I eventually just came up with that one. Sort of tongue in cheek, which I liked, so. Probably about four or five years ago, um, I thought that I could be original, um, being a white rapper, but now there's so many of them that the game has sort of changed. Um, I try to come up with you know, the most unique music that I can. And that's why I put a lot of uh, guitar, bass, drums in my music now, as opposed to just, you know, um, rap, hip hop beats. Because there's a lot, there's, there's so much out there. I feel like it'd just be repetitive at this point. Okay. And, 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 and to emulating of, of others. I feel like it'd just be repetitive at this point. Okay. And, 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 and to emulating of, of others. I'd say it's uh, sort of rap, rock, um, a lot of drum and bass. Um, a lot of heavy synth, synth sound. Um, yeah, sort of techno. I'm, I was a big Transplants fan, still am. Um, no, I, I really don't have a lot of rap influence. Um, I'd, I'd say more. Growing up, I listened to a lot of punk, punk rock music. Um, uh, Operation Ivy, Rancid. Um, I think the first rap CD I ever bought was MC Hammer. To be honest, I don't listen to that much rap. I'm, I enjoy a lot of rap music, but it's sort of just my own thing. I don't try to emulate or copy anybody. I am, I'm from Atlanta, born and raised. Uh, I mean, Atlanta is a good music uh, scene, a good, a good town uh, for music, a good city for music. Um, there's so much music here that um, I think a lot of people are are open to it. I feel like it's it's the best, you know, it's, Atlanta's a good music town. And I, and I feel like people are open to my music, and if they're not now, they will be. My head is, is in outer space. It's, it's, I'm very rarely grounded when it comes to writing. Um, it's all over the place. It's it's never really. I have ADD, so I have a very hard time focusing, even when it comes to writing one song. Sometimes it'll take me a month to write one song. Um, it it takes a lot out of me because it's so hard for me to focus because I have such problems focusing and I have ADD and. and my head is just scattered brain all the time. I was coming back from the airport. Um, uh, my phone died. I got lost, so I couldn't get directions. I stopped at a gas station. Um, when I got, tried to get back in my car, um, I was greeted by a guy with a gun holding a gun at me. Uh, I turned around, got hit. Um, 
took everything, tried to take all my stuff um, while the guy was holding the gun at me. Um, took my keys, took the car, took everything. Um, next day, the cops found it, and the only thing they stole was three CDs and a car phone charger. Everything else was left in the car. I think I might even shit my pants. It was very scary. It was, I had this empty feeling the in, inside, you know. You get a gun pointed at you, it's, it's not fun. What did we do the first video for? The very first one. Shot, shot. Yeah, that's my favorite song. Yeah. Get Get Dizzy took me a long time. That took me like a month or so. And then, um... Yeah, well that, that one, I was so scatterbrained the whole time. I, I had no, like, I had no vision of what I wanted the song to be. I had no hook. I had nothing to really bait. You know, you, when you write songs, you base the verse off the hook. And since I had no hook, it took forever to write. And I started writing the verse before I had a hook, so I had no idea what I was talking about. Um, I've been playing music since I was about 12, about 11 or 12. Um, I got a, a drum set for Christmas and uh, destroyed it and then worked for a summer at Publix to earn enough money to buy another drum set and spent my whole like, six month uh, paycheck, rent, money uh, to buy a new set and uh, ended up uh, buying that and my brother played guitar and we used to play all the time. So it's just sort of been, you know, in my blood. My parents um, are big, big music fans. And um, I, uh, you know, my dad was a big, a big music fan, so was my mom, so I kind of grew up with it. Turn the camera around, he's right there. <laughs> Black Room Studios in Buckhead. Ghost Man. Ghost Man Productions. <laughs> the Ghost. I think if you're if you're just in it for the money, I think you're in it for the wrong reasons. I don't, you know, I think your heart should be in it first before the dollar, the almighty dollar. Do it because you love it. Don't don't chase money. I mean the money's good, but don't don't be in it for just for that. Taking son of a gun with a life on the run. I'm the morphine drip. Pop the hypnotic candy. Arms out like a zombie. The ski mask got was stone for knocks. Apocalyptic way to the top. I seen the best not to impress. These narcissistic freaks undress. I make them shake. Shake, 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 shake. Watch what you say. The clock get pops. Stand in my way. I'll clean your clock. There's only one way. It's straight to the top. Stuff the catch with a mason jar. Scars my face from the battle yard.